Hi there, this is Cross Product 2, and uh, I'm just going to explore that second technique I was mentioning to you. Um, essentially, this is what we had before, right? I hat, J hat, and K hat, okay? Then you have your MX, you have your MY, you have your MZ, then you have your NX, NY, and Z. Sweet. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, okay? Now, don't think that you have to, have to, have to pick the top row, okay? You can start, you can pick MX, you can pick NX, you can pick I. I'm going to pick I, but you can do any one you want. It will work anyway. If you see a row with only one value in it, like in, in the I column, and you see a zero and a zero in the Y and the Z, I recommend picking that one because you'll make your life much easier. And you might see why. You might understand why in a bit. So let me let me just show you. I'm going to rewrite this just for clarification. You have your I, J, K. Probably tired of seeing that by now. N, X, M, Y, N, Y, M, Z, NZ. Sweet. Okay. What I want you to focus on is this business right here. Okay? We're picking this one. Mind you, you could pick MX or NX. Okay? What I want you to do is I want you to focus on that I. Okay? And I want you to cross out everything that follows on the same row or column. There you go. So now you're sitting there going, okay, so now I only see this MY, this MZ, this NY, and NX, NZ. What I want you to do is take the determinant, take the cross product of just that four, like we learned, like you learned how to do in, uh, you know, algebra when you were actually introduced to vectors. But if you haven't, can't remember, don't worry. You just, you know, add one way, subtract the other. You'll be fine. Let me show you. First of all, this will turn out to be ny let me just make sure on that one Alright, um, what I'm going to show you is, essentially you can add and minus, you add from top left to bottom right, you subtract the opposite direction, okay? So, our results will be MY and Z minus NY MZ, okay? Anytime, if you happen to find an error that I do, feel free to, uh, you know, fix it yourself. You don't need to leave a comment. <laughs> but no, um, it, it, all joking aside, like, if I make an error, uh, just check it with your intuition. Uh, dude, that's going opposite of what it should be. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm not some guru at this stuff. I just, uh, you know, I didn't invent it like some of these geniuses back in the uh, 1600s. We're doing the same technique, cross everything that's in the same column or row, and once again, do the same cross product, okay? So, start off, MX, NZ, minus, NX, MZ. That's J hat. Cool? Keep it going. I, J hat, K hat. Okay. 
Uh, let me just write this out again. MX, NX, MY, NY, MZ, NZ. Once again, focus on the K. Cross everything out that's related. And, you know, do the same thing. Do the... Mm, do the cross product of just those. You start to see that essentially it becomes fairly repetitive. Now you're sitting there going, okay, well, what does that mean? We've completed it. What does that mean? Well, actually, if you went back to your other one, your other results, you would find that this is P. Same thing. You just add them up. Now there is an exception. Um, when you do this, the one that you have to pay attention to is J, and J needs to be a negative. I forgot to mention that to you. So just add a negative in there. Just remember that X is positive. J, or well, Y in this case, negative. And Z equals positive, okay? Now, you're probably sitting there going, whoa, 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 what do you mean? All I'm saying is, your result should be P, your result of this should be something um, should be, uh, you have your number, you'll have a number, okay, and then it, that'll be something i, right, and then it'll be minus a number j plus a number k. That's all I'm saying, that there's a negative here. You have to subtract it when you use this technique. So just remember that. Okay, well, um, basically, uh, a lot of people are sitting here going, okay, well, now we know how to do cross products. What does that have to do with anything? Well, people wonder, what does this have to do with engineering? Well, I say we look at something, uh, let's look at a, like a lever or something. Uh, I'm trying to think of an example right off the bat. Uh, you know... Whatever, you know, it's, sorry, that's not a good gear. But let's pretend like, you know, you have some chain here that goes off into the distance. Goes off into the distance, just, you know. And you have some kind of, you know, lever system. And this lever system what if you pulled on this lever, okay, at a force of F? Well, the distance between the point where it's gonna pivot and the force is R. Okay? And let's just call this point O just for for uh you know, labeling sakes. So um First of all, I want you to know that the moment is going to equal, in this case, force times distance, okay? The reason I want you to know that is because, basically, this will establish some sort of intuition, okay? Um, whenever someone says, uh, what the, at what point is it easiest to, like, push down on a bike pedal? It, it, it's when it's perpendicular, when the force is perpendicular, you're not pushing on the bike at all, it's all going into the turning motion. This is the same sort of concept. The, the, the train, the motion, is going to go along this curve, okay? And what you realize is that your fir force is actually perpendicular to, essentially, the R. And that, and that is actually what the 
basis of what we use for doing the cross uh, the cross product. So m equals r cross force. Okay. And remember, you can always use your magnitude sense. So if we had, say, the same same situation in vector form, right? It's going to be r, and then you have your 90 degrees f. Okay. Well. This angle right here, this angle that I'm going to just call alpha, remember that your magnitude of your mom moment that you're going to get is just going to be r, the, moment, the magnitude of r, then the magnitude of your force times sine of alpha.